seat on the porch, I will light you up. I have a message for the drug dealers here in Cincinnati. Stop, mother stop! Get the down! The next time you want to bring weed here, you better think about it twice. Stay right there! Bye. If you move, I'm going to shoot you. Do you understand me? Because we're not going away. Put your hands out the window, and we're only getting smarter. Seventeen twenty-three on thirty-five. I get a radio run for a guy that's just OD'd at a nearby park. So I pedal as fast as I can to get over. The next thing I know, there's an ambulance flying right by me. So I know backup's going to be on the scene. Is it right there? Oh yeah. He ain't sleeping. Once I get on scene, this guy is not doing well. He's unconscious, and he does not look good. He's not breathing. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Hey, guy. Try to run that up. You giving him Narcan? Yep. That's the power drug. The gentleman was not responsive to myself, fire. So at that point, they actually gave him what's called Narcan. It's like a magical drug that can just bring them right out of their high. It didn't work. I'm just gonna pat him down for stuff real fast. I don't have a lot of time to do a thorough search, and it's very important for me to find the needle that this guy's just pumped his body full of drugs with. It's so dangerous to have a needle laying around this park. Still bad right now? Yeah. 1723, you can't advise a boss. He's not doing well right now. We get him into the ambulance. He's still unresponsive. Fire says we're leaving immediately, which makes me believe that the situation is, is extremely, extremely bad. So I return to the car, hoping to find this needle. There's a kid's seat right here. So I look in the back of the car, and I see a kid's seat sitting in the back. Now I'm pissed. You got to make sure that he didn't throw it, and then the next time the kid gets in the car, it's latched up in here. This part of the job makes you mad, you know? These kids all out here playing on the playground. And then all of a sudden, a fireman says, the guy is conscious. You getting his information? Is that your car? Hey, Scott, talk to me or I'm going to tow this car. Who brought you down here? Oh, no. You weren't doing that heroin? I don't know what it was. You were doing heroin? You were doing heroin? We're going to tow the car. And we would appreciate it if you stay out of our city doing drugs. You understand that? Gentlemen, thanks. At that point, another fireman comes out and says, the guy is irate. He's being an ass. OK. We told him to get the hell out of here. He's not going to talk the way the guy's going to be so. so our unresponsive junkie is in the backseat of the ambulance giving these guys a hard time that just saved his life. Hey, guy, you need to pay attention. You're not running this show anymore. Do you understand that? No, I'm not. You're this far from going to jail. Do you, do you understand that? Do not, do not. Okay, I'm gonna. Not gonna treat me like hey, an let idiot. me let me tell you something. You're this far from going to jail. This far. You now what's your? To me. No, I don't need to listen to you right now. You need to listen to me. Okay, what are you trying to say? Keep your hands where we can see and walk over here. Because they're, they're, they're treating me like. Well, walk over here. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Get, get your hands out of your pockets. Get your, Dude, get your hands out of your pockets. Get out of. Get your hands. Just take it to the ground. Dude, go to the ground. Oh. We don't care. Go to the ground. Do what we say. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm freezing to death. Stop. You're okay. I got one cup on him. Quit resisting. Stop resisting, sir. Stop resisting. We tell you to keep your hands out of your pockets. You do that. Have a seat. I'm trying to. Good. Will you hold the on? I don't have to hold on anymore. I have rights. I have rights. Let me explain something to you. What? You have the right to remain silent. Okay, go. Let and anything you say can and will be held Let against you in a court of law. You have a right of attorney. Let if you cannot afford door. one, one will be okay, appointed to you. Jail, if you decide to stop answering questions at any time, you still have the right to be a lawyer. You, you understand your rights. I get in the ambulance, they shoot me up with something. I don't even know what they shot me up with. Then I wake up and they're going off on me. Stop. 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 Listen, 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 listen to me. I'll kick your nuts off, Listen to me. Listen.
to me. Listen, the damage is done. Stop, Scott. I ain't sweating the whole day. Stand up. Everything is an argument with this guy. And once they realize that they are actually going into custody, sometimes they get worse. See, that can't even get in the hey, door. Hey. Put the same up. I can't get in the door. Turn around and sit your bunny. Scott, listen, you got I don't care. Shut the door. I'll go. We got it. Shut the door. Drugs never pay, do they? Another great save by the CFD. Yeah. My job is to protect people, but protecting people from themselves is almost impossible. Right now, he will be treated at University Hospital. Then he will be heading to the uh, Justice Center on some criminal charges. So he'll get a day in court, and we'll let the judge determine what happens to him. The good thing is tonight, there was no cops that got injured, and the bad guy get to go to jail. He ain't sleeping. Hey, guys. Stop resisting, sir!